Hey everyone, it's Joe. I'm going to do a video today on how to merge two hives using the newspaper method. I have this hive. It's a pretty weak hive. The, they keep trying to replace the queen. The queen is finally in there laying and I'm not 100% sure if she's a queen that I gave them or if they replaced her. They kept making queen cells. I did give them additional comb for the queen to lay in because she was pretty honey bound and they pretty much refused to draw additional foundation. I looked in there today and she's laying quite well, but they don't have much older brood. So today is August, uh, I think it's the 13th or so, and I need this population to be higher for the winter. I have a colony down on the end here that I made. It was a nuke hive that I made last week. And unfortunately, it got completely robbed out and the robber bees killed the queen. So I have no queen in here and I have a hive that has probably six frames of bees. And you can see there's still, still bees trying to rob them. And even though there's no additional honey for them to rob, they're still trying. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm going to take this hive and I will merge it with hive number four. It does have quite a bit of brood and it has quite a few bees. So what I'll do is I'll just take this hive and I'll carry it down next to that one and merge them. Any of the forager bees that will try and come back to this hive, they're going to go into that other nuke and that's going to give that other nuke a boost. They're just going to move right over into the other hive. So to do this merger, I have the weak hive up here. The other weak hive is down here. We do have another super. I'm gonna put this on top. The next step to merging this hive, after I take the lid off, is to put a sheet of newspaper, or a sheet of, I just have some brown packing paper. I'm just gonna stick that in here. And I usually make some slits in the paper to make it easier for them to get through, but you don't necessarily have to do that. What will happen is the bees are going to chew through this paper to get rid of it. And as they do that, their pheromones are going to intermingle and they will become one hive. First thing I'll do is I'm going to make sure those queen cells are eliminated. I don't want a queen hatching out. I see some queen cups here. I'll just hit them in case there's something in, but I don't think there is. No queen cells on this one. Just a couple clean cups here. Another clean cup. I don't think there's anything in those. Nothing on here. No queen cells. No queen cells here. And here are the queen cells. So I will. Cut these. One, two, three, four, five. I think that's what I had originally found. I'm going to check under these and just make sure there's nothing hiding. These tend to cluster around the queen cells, so it's easy. Yep, here they are. Two of them. So there were eight queen cells. I have a lot of bees on the top cover and the inner cover. I'm just going to shake them down to the hive below. Uh, they were originally from that hive. You want to make sure the top bees have some kind of ventilation. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take a stick. I'm going to take a stick and 
put it over here so that it kind of props the top cover up a little bit. I don't want it to be propped up too much because then I'll have robbing issues in the top, but just enough to give them a little bit of ventilation until they merge. And that's how you merge two hives using the newspaper method. Really a pretty quick way of merging hives. So right now I have two medium supers from the first hive, one medium super from the second hive. I have a newspaper in between and they're going to chew through that newspaper. By the time they chew through it, their pheromones are going to be merged and they're going to be one happy family. The queenless bees are now going to have a queen and the hive below is going to be boosted from the additional population of bees and the additional brood.